Ever wonder what is this ship that's pulling the other much bigger ship than her? That ship is called the tugboat. Yes, you heard it right. That is a tugboat. They are usually seen on port, the small but powerful workhorse of every busy harbor. Though tiny in comparison, tugboats are vital in docking, undocking, and guiding vessels where precision matters most. A single tugboat can pull or push vessels a hundred times its own size. Modern tugboats often use azimuth thrusters for 360-degree maneuvering. In emergencies, rescue tugs can prevent ecological disasters by towing tankers away from rocks or grounding zones. Every day, colossal ships carrying thousands of containers arrive at ports around the world. These floating giants, some over 300 meters long, safely maneuver into tight, crowded docks guided by these tugboats. Modern cargo ships and tankers are not built for agility. Their massive size, high freeboard, and limited turning radius make close quarter maneuvers extremely dangerous without assistance. In confined harbors, with shifting tides, narrow channels, and other vessels nearby, the risk of collision or grounding increases dramatically. Tugboats come in to push or pull the ship into position. Using powerful engines and 360-degree azimuth thrusters, they give the ship fine control that its own rudder and propellers can't provide at low speeds. Sometimes multiple tugs are used, one at the bow, another at the stern, to carefully rotate or align the vessel with the dock. Tug operations demand seamless communication between the ship's bridge, the harbor pilot, and the tug masters. A single mistake in timing or angle can lead to costly delays or even serious damage to the ship's hull, nearby vessels, or the harbor's fenders. Tugboats are not just helpful, they're essential. Without them, ports would be paralyzed. They protect ships, save fuel by reducing maneuvering time, and ensure safety for everyone working in the harbor. But did you know, not all tugboats are the same. These hard-working vessels are the unsung heroes of maritime operations. Built for very specific missions, they work 24-7, rain or shine, in ports, rivers, and open seas. Let's start with one of the most common types, the harbor tug, also known as a port tug. These compact yet powerful tugs help maneuver ships in tight spaces, pushing or pulling them into position during docking and undocking. In narrow harbors, where even the slightest miscalculation can cause millions in damage, harbor tugs are essential. Pilot, transfer, service. Tugboats aren't just about brute force. In ports like Merak, Indonesia, some tugs are used to transfer marine pilots to and from ships, especially where pilot boats can't safely operate due to large swells. It's a lifeline that keeps port traffic moving safely. Delivering provisions or supplies. Tugboats also act as delivery boats, bringing fresh food, bonded stores, spare parts, and even mail to ships waiting offshore. In the Middle East Gulf region, this is an everyday task, and it keeps long voyages bearable for the crew. Ocean-going tug, deep sea tug, towing a disabled vessel. Tugboats tow ships with damaged engines or steering systems back to safety or port. Built for long voyages and strong enough to tow large ships or platforms across open ocean. These are ocean-going tugs, capable of towing ships with engine failure or damaged steering systems. Their missions are long, tough, and sometimes dangerous, but they're the last hope for many stranded vessels across entire oceans. Towing barges or platforms. Tugboats regularly tow non-motorized barges or offshore structures across long distances. These are very common in Bangkok, Chow Phraya River where a single towing barge, usually towing one to four barges connected to each other, fully loaded with cargo. In places like Thailand, tugs tow chains of cargo-filled barges, sometimes four or more at once. They keep inland commerce flowing. Salvage tug, salvage operations, firefighting, support, fireboats. Some tugboats are equipped for firefighting, salvage, and emergency response. These specialized vessels can save burning ships or refloat a vessel that ran aground. 
They're outfitted with water cannons and heavy-duty pumps, foam systems, and firefighting gear to respond to shipboard or port fires at a moment's notice. Equipped for emergency response, rescue towing, firefighting, and salvage work at sea, tugboats assist in maritime salvage operations, rescuing grounded, sunken, or damaged ships. Ice-breaking, tug ice-breaking assistance. In icy waters, ice-capable tugboats help break sea ice to clear paths for vessels in frozen ports or channels. Ice-breaking tugs use their reinforced hull and high power to break through sea ice to crack open frozen channels, making way for commercial traffic. These are built tough for Arctic winters and northern ports. Anchor handling. In offshore oil fields, specialized tugs, AHTs, anchor handling tugs, are used in offshore oil and gas fields to set position and retrieve anchors for drilling rigs or floating structures. Anchor Handling Tug Supply, AHTS. Dual purpose tugs that handle anchors and carry supplies for offshore installations. Binding power and logistics. Emergency Rescue slash Escort Tugboat. Some vessels, especially tankers, require an escort tug by law. These tugs follow closely in case of sudden engine and steering failure or accidents. Designed to escort large vessels like oil tankers and container ships to ensure control in case of engine failure or emergency. One example here is the mandatory requirements for ships passing the Suez Canal. A designated tugboats followed every ship while transiting the canal coordinated with the Suez Canal pilot. Tugs escort tankers or high-risk vessels to prevent accidents and provide emergency towing if needed and help maintain smooth traffic. Pushing Barges River Inland Tugboats Push Tug Designed to push barges in rivers or inland waterways, often flat-nosed and low draft. Instead of towing, tugboats push barges, especially in rivers and inland waterways, common in push tug systems. In inland waterways, flat-nosed push tugs are more common. Instead of towing, they push barges upstream, controlling them with precision, even in shallow or narrow passages. Notch Tug Integrated Tug Barge, ITB. And finally, we have Notch Tugs, or ITBs, Integrated Tug Barge Systems. These are designed to fit perfectly into a barge's notch, acting as one unit across long distances. It's a smart, fuel-efficient solution seen in Europe's inland shipping, built to fit into a specially designed barge notch to push it as a single unit over long distances. These are common in European inland waters. Tugboats in shipyards and dry docks. Tugs guide floating dry docks, pontoons, or artificial islands into position. Tugboats don't just tow and rescue. They're essential in shipyards, dry docks, and even Europe's narrow canal locks. They guide floating structures, shift artificial islands, and position ships with razor-sharp accuracy in places where one wrong move could cost millions. When a massive vessel needs repairs or maintenance, it's brought into a dry dock. But getting a 300-meter ship lined up perfectly into that narrow dock? That's a mission tugboats were born for. They push from the sides, adjust angles, and gently guide the ship over the keel blocks like a floating ballet. There's no margin for error. And without tugboats, shipyards wouldn't be able to operate on this scale. Tugboats are the invisible hands that dock these steel giants especially when a ship's own engines must be shut down for entry. In naval bases and industrial ports, you'll often see multiple tugs surrounding a mobile dry dock, carefully steering it into place like a jigsaw puzzle on water. Without their help, launching or relocating these floating giants would be nearly impossible. The number of crew members, their ranks and salaries vary depending on the type and purpose of the tugboat. Work hours and daily routines also differ, and so do the struggles faced by the crew, each unique to the nature of their operations. For example, 
port or harbor tug, crews often suffer from sleep deprivation due to the non-stop schedule of ships arriving and departing. These crews must always be on standby, ready to assist with berthing or unberthing operations, sometimes working through the night with minimal rest. On the other hand, tugboats towing barges on long voyages face different challenges. Crews endure days or weeks at sea, often battling rough weather that causes seasickness and fatigue. So the next time you see a cargo ship gliding perfectly into place, remember the small but mighty tugboat, the silent guardian of global trade. If you enjoyed learning about harbor tugs and the role they play, consider subscribing for more stories from the world of seafaring. From the engine room to the open ocean, we bring maritime life to your screen. In our next video, discover the heartbreaking story of a chief cook who suffered a serious knee injury and was left without medical care because the captain failed to act.